So first of all we need to collect all the components that we need and we're going to place them close to the final positions. You can see the components here, the camera, lenses, grating and slit. And here's our white light source. We're going to make sure that our XY carriers are in the midpoint of their range and we're going to put the lenses and devices all into their holders. So the height of the setup is going to depend on the highest component. So that's going to be our light source. We're going to use this and set all our optics to be at that level. We'll place the white light source in an X carrier on the end of the rail here. And we'll make sure that the diffuser is removed. So we'll put the triangle pattern into an X carrier and we'll set the height of the um, pattern to be the same as that of the white light source. We're going to keep the height of this fixed for the rest of the experiment. It's going to be a height reference for us. We're going to move the screen to the furthest point on the rail. Adjust the focus of the collector lens by sliding it back and forth so that the source filament is imaged on the detector screen. Next, adjust the, adjust the position of the lens side to side, up and down so that the filament image is centered on the triangle pattern. Now we carefully remove the lens, we'll place it next to the rail, and we're going to repeat the same centering adjustment for the collimator lens. to set the height of the slit and the transmission grating. We'll take these components out, leaving them on their carriers, and we'll put in, finally, the camera. We need to unscrew the cover. The light's going to go directly onto the detector. So we're going to put the collector lens in and we're going to make it about 10 centimetres from the source. 
The source is located just in front of the post. What we want is for this lens to form a focused image exactly 10 centimeters away. So we put the screen here exactly 10 centimeters from this lens. And the screen will block, I assume, what you want. To We're going to adjust the position of this lens so that we form a focused image on a screen that is 10 centimeters away from it. Add the collimator lens to the rail and move it so it's about 20 centimeters from the collector lens. We'll take out the screen and we will adjust the position of this collimator lens so that it gives us a roughly parallel beam of light travelling down the rail. Okay, we'll put the imaging lens on the rail about 10 centimetres from the final screen to form a focused image of the filament. Now add the slit roughly halfway between the collector lens and the collimator lens. Make sure that the slit is vertical. Close down the jaws of the slit and move it back and forth until you have an image of the filament being formed on the slit. Now slightly open the slit jaws, we're using this micrometer knob, and we should get a white light image of the slit on the screen. Next we'll perform an autocollimation to make sure the light reaching the grating is parallel. We'll place a flat mirror in the X carrier in between the collimator lens and the imaging lens. We'll use start off with a fairly wide slit and we'll adjust the position of the collimator lens until the reflected light from the mirror forms a narrow line on the rear of the slit. We'll narrow the slit and repeat the autocorrelation until the line is as narrow as possible. Now we'll slide the screen along the rail so the image of the slit on the screen is focused. (laughs) 
Now we're going to add the transmission grating. It doesn't matter where it goes because the light along here is parallel. And as soon as we do that, what you can see on the screen is no longer one image of the slit, but the image of the slit that's been split into all of its colours. Now we'll remove the screen and replace it with a camera that has no lens on it. So we've opened the image capture software and we've put the camera in approximately where the white screen was located. We will focus the camera by moving it along the rail. You can see that here we have an image of the filament. To get rid of that, we will put the diffuser onto the white light source. We can also move the camera from side to side in order to capture different orders of interest to us. In this case, I've moved the zeroth order all the way to the left hand side you can see the first order here, the second order here, and there's even a third order here. Now we replace the white light source with the sodium lamp. We need to move it forward to keep the distance between the lamp and the lens the same that we had for the white light. Then we need to adjust the position of the sodium lamp and nothing else so that we have a focused image on the slit, on the center of the slit. You can see here the uh, visible light lines. Here is the zeroth order and here are the first orders. That corresponds to a wavelength of 589.3 nanometers. If you work out this distance in pixels, you can work out a scaling factor of pixels per nanometer. Then when we put any new light source in there, we'll be able to work out what the wavelength is.